Welcome back, everyone. I'm Jeffrey. I know you've been waiting for our video. Thank you so much, and please accept our heartfelt gratitude. Remind yourself to always strive for excellence, and the universe will conspire to provide you with everything you desire. Having a sensitivity to their readiness is a good thing, but it's only important that you pay attention to your own readiness because when you are open to this energy then what you receive will be just right for what's going on there say you're in a room with 30 people is that what you said mm -hmm. and as you say are at various stages of readiness but you are really tuned in tapped in turned on because you know what it feels like to feel exhilaration you know what it feels like to feel clarity rather than confusion you have been meditating you are in that place where you are in the receiving mode and don't you find yourself once you begin that what flows to you and through you is beneficial in lots of different ways it's not like you consciously know Esther will say about her experience of allowing us to flow through in order to talk to you or to reach to you or to answer you or to find you and feel you that she says I never get the backstory I never really know I only hear it as it's coming because inner being knows your inner beings are there knowing in other words it's a wonderful thing when you get into this vibrational reality where all of the questions are understood and all of the answers are understood and all of the problems are understood and all of the solutions are understood and then to the degree of your readiness you receive your answer or your solution you see but if you force an answer or a solution to someone who's not ready for it they're going to just like in the conversation that we had earlier they're gonna put up their walls of resistance if they're not ready think about it if you ask someone to do something before they have enough information that they feel inspired to do it don't they always say no and you do too and so it really is about you being in the receiving mode and then once in the receiving mode then others may or may not be but that's not ever your job because there is no law of assertion there is only a law of attraction and so as you tune into who you are and you begin receiving and flowing some of them will be ready you see when you're ready to be ready to be ready to be ready meaning you're here and satisfied and then here and satisfied and then here and satisfied this is the formula for happily ever after if you're ready for an idea but then you want to jump from the idea right into the full action or activity or even words about it very often as you make that jump you lose your connection because you're not ready for that and then you lose the momentum that would be there otherwise so the key is to reach for satisfaction to reach for as much as you can find and still feel good and not reach beyond it when you push yourself too far or you push others too far so the satisfaction turns to dissatisfaction now you've lost the momentum and you can't bridge that gap now let's create reality but the reason you do that is because the tangible is intoxicating seeing it and hearing it and then smelling it and tasting it and touching it and also you're really gonna like this because of the manifestation of something there's a lot of momentum in it in the way that we're asking you to be ready for something you want ready to be ready to be ready to be ready and then when it blossoms into that full manifestation it's so exhilarating Esther said to us Abraham I know that you want me to be happy over here in the dreaming stage or in the imagining stage or in the just letting it be stage but I have to tell you I really 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 like manifestations and we know you really like manifestations but you've got to be ready for it in order for the manifestation to happen and so in the same way that we're asking you to be ready and ready and ready and that momentum is ensuing momentum is becoming more and more and more that works with things wanted and unwanted as well it's in the same way that you might start worrying about something and fussing about it and then the more you do it now you're talking to someone about it now you've joined an organization about it and now you're blogging about it now you're leading the organization about it there's a lot of momentum there and the negative emotion is getting stronger and stronger because there is momentum in anything that you focus upon 
So the key is to slow the momentum on unwanted things while you increase the momentum on wanted things. And the only way that you can do that effectively is by paying attention to the way that you feel. So if you manage to quiet your mind, here's what we really want you to hear. This is the piece that you're asking for that will make the difference for you. You're ready for this. So the reason that you like to jump into the action faster is because there's already momentum there, but you might not be ready for it. And so you can't make the jump, but it feels like a better choice to you because it's more tangible. It's more satisfying to you because there's more to see and there's more to hear and so on. Humans have issues with deliberately taking the path of least resistance because there's something in you that makes you feel like you're being lazy. Mm -hmm. So you kind of think that there's more virtue and value in doing it would be one of joy. It would be one of feeling good. That's you see, thinking, so anytime, good. anytime that you're not feeling lighthearted or joy, that means you're taking a path of greater resistance than you need to. And we just want to say, why? Why would you take the hard path? Now, some might say, oh, well, there's more adventure. And we say, there's plenty of adventure on the path of least resistance. And as we said to you yesterday, the path of least resistance doesn't mean the shortest path necessarily. It might, but it doesn't mean it necessarily. It means the path that has the most bang for your buck. It means the path that has the most potential to satisfy the most things that you are asking for in your vortex. Do you have any idea how many things you're asking for in your vortex? You're asking to uplift. You're asking to be uplifted. You're asking for alignment. You're asking for wonderful things to come to you. You're asking for clarity. You're asking for fun. You're asking for humor. You're asking for expansion. You're asking for insight. You're asking for all kinds of things because you've been putting those things into your vortex for a very long time. And so as the source within you is guiding you along. It's not guiding you to the quickest way to satisfy this thing that you're active on right now. This one subject, while that certainly is an important factor in what you're being guided to, but the source within you is remembering everything you want. So let's say that you have something that you really are interested in accomplishing and you really want to get it done in a short period of time. And you've been focusing and you've been thinking about it. Of course, source is going to guide you more specifically to what you're asking for. But along the way, source remembers all the other things you want, like human interaction. Source remembers all the other things you want, like being an uplifter, like being advantage to others, like being a co-creator, like being an appreciator. And so, once you get tuned to this high frequency, that leverage that we were talking about yesterday begins to kick in in a way where you have this expansive capacity to explore. And the more you tune yourself to this higher frequency, the greater your capacity to devour the deliciousness of every interaction with everything so that you find yourself fascinated and enjoying the details, ah, oh, the tactile, visceral, extraordinary details, multi-leveled details of this time-space reality. Just have fun with this. You're meeting up with all kinds of people in all kinds of places. Esther was getting ready today and turned on her television with all the music to choose from. And the system was in one room and she was getting ready in the other. And she made 25 trips into the other room to change the music because she was reaching for something that was in a vibrational vicinity of where she was. And it seemed like no matter what one she chose, there were all kinds of different choices. It got into heavy stuff right away. And she thought they should just put this all in one category and call it bummer. <laughs> there was nothing uplifting about anything. Finally, she just turned it off and thought her own happy thoughts. You tune yourself to the frequency that is you and everything that is the frequency that you are will then begin to reveal itself to you. And meanwhile, let's not make such a big thing about it. We hope you enjoyed the last 15 minutes with us. We'd love to hear your thoughts as well as your valuable feedback in the comments section below. Just do it because we truly appreciate it. And don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell so you won't miss our next video. Thank you very much.